And yeah, I could do that here. Cool, cool, cool. Aha! Well, I found, uh, if not the unerosional cave. The passage is okay, three or four feet, but then it gets low. It goes everywhere. It's definitely an erosional area. I don't know if this is a map that, an area that people want to map or anything, but uh, I will. It's This entrance is hard to get into. I dug it out, so I wanted to show that because it's a absolute nightmare to squeeze into. Um, but of course, so I have cleaned this out a lot. But it gets really narrow, and I guess you're just going to have to watch me go into it. Okay, well. Good luck. Ah, it goes pretty much straight down, and I, it was just blowing air. And it looked like it was just about big enough to pass, so I dug it out a little bit. And that was all it took. Uh, and I'd seen a few other little erosional areas. So I knew that there was something down here. Plus we're looking for stream caves, so you know, we know something's down here. This is not one, well it's not bad now, but uh, it's not one you'd want to go into unless you were having a day where you felt like you wanted to crawl. But this dirt was soft, so it just kind of scooched out of the way. And then I just scooch in, scooch in, scooch in. You know, how we scooch. A little more. It's not bad now. I'm just working to keep the camera on me. And it's not working. There we go. Okay. And then drop down inside here. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'll show you the inside. I'm going to get a little bit further in to do that. Okay, all right, there we go. See, and I guess for the sake of taking a picture, I'll set this up exactly the way it was described by, I think it was Jim Nealon's description of the area, but the entrance is not. Well, you know, to be honest, I'm just showing you for size. Like there's, there's plenty of space back here. Um, the description says eight foot by four foot. And there is an eight foot by four foot, like a tree well entrance on the other side. I'll show that to you. Um, but, and I can see that light. It's, where's that rock at? Yeah, it's over there, like 30 feet or 20 feet. Um, you can see light. That's a mu That would have to be dug out again. So I, it's possible that the big entrance they're talking about uh, is just needs to be dug out again that I put this here because I saw that light over there, but this is our entrance right here anyway. So I'm gonna uh, use this to crawl out again, if I can. Ah. Oh, there it is. Back to this again. Where is my way out? There it is. Uh, and it goes away. It goes away in uh, every direction. It's it's low, you know, like dip unders and then three foot and then low and but but doesn't look extensive. But it is this whole area because every little hole I looked in has that sand and silt bottom. So it's clearly this is what is taking place. Uh, I don't know if I can get out of this with this tube like this. Uh, Oh, that's not bad. I've scooched in here a few times so the uh, the bottom is now compliant. The uh, floor is now soft and has been rooted out a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now this is okay now as long as you don't mind passing down through all these roots and dirt and stuff. I think if it was raining, you wouldn't like this, but it's dry and 50 today. So, um, let me get you out here. And I'm facing it towards me, mostly so you can see the size of the hole. 
of the entrance is in case you want to come and check out this erosional cave which you don't so my rock stack will be alone for a while <sighs> okay now I'll show you this there's that entrance there there and this entrance here and this is a lot bigger um this is my foot try not to fall in it because i did jump in it earlier it's about five feet across and eight feet deep but the bottom like you can just feel a tiny draft it's like six inches high you could dig that out and get in but i would not call that the main entrance anymore uh i'm not positive that that's it but i think that's what he's referring to that's an easy easy way to find this is you find the big hole it's on the uh this is the heavy timber line in the lava field this is the uh alder tree timber line and this is the last see these big guys right there tucked in there that i think is string cave i think <laughs>